Hello, everybody, and welcome back, or welcome to episode one of the wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid. For those of you who have been around for a while, you're well aware that there are plenty of other episodes, including like 145 of them, I think, for you to go check out. But for those of you who are new to the game from Steam and all this other stuff, instead of making you wait through 145 episodes of stuff to watch, though feel free if you want to, I'm not stopping you, I figured we'd start episode one with a fresh new game, a fresh new character, and a fresh new save. I think it could be a lot of fun, and I think, again, starting on like a fresh, flat new ground for everybody to join in on would probably be the best bet to get everybody on board. So, I hope you all enjoy the beginning of Project Zomboid. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Let's create a new world. Uh, let's call this, I don't know, Banana World. I mean, does it really... Banana... Like, does that matter? I spelled that wrong. And we'll go to um, West Point, I think. I think we'll start in West Point and see how it ends up going for us. Bobby Williams sounds good. We'll make sure he's Mathis Williams. Now, the problem with West Point, the, the, one of the bigger issues I'm going to have with West Point, and that you might have as a viewer, is that I don't know West Point all that well. So I am going to end up getting lost. I'm not going to know anything. I don't... Unlike Muldrow, which I've played hundreds upon hundreds of episodes in, uh, all told... West Point is is something I've played maybe a total of an hour in, maybe, and that, that might be pushing it, might be a little bit less. And even in, in that hour, it was mostly on stream, so I didn't really take it in. I really wasn't mapping it out where things are, what's good, what's bad. So the unfortunate aspect is I could make some real big mistakes. I could make a, a safe house that is generally in a dangerous area that otherwise I would think is not. I also don't know where there might be a warehouse or where I could potentially go get some tools or where just generally good places to loot are. So bear with me as we kind of rediscover a little bit of what makes Zomboid so magical in, in that you're kind of exploring uh, this abandoned world all while uh, trying to survive at the same time. So, first things first, as always, we're gonna kind of loot the area of the house and grab everything that we can and make sure it becomes part of our inventory, at least anything that's useful. So, for instance, this hammer is gonna be incredibly useful and getting a hammer this early is always a good thing. You don't really wanna, you don't really look that kind of gift horse in the mouth. We have a dead rat in here, which I could, if I really needed to, grab for food, but we're not that desperate for food, not yet. Um, we're gonna check over here. We have a cooking pot and another hammer. Uh, we have two cooking pots, actually, and some tuna. Um, I am not going to take the other hammer because it's unnecessary. I don't think I'll be using the hammer as a weapon for long. In fact, I'm actually going to plop the kitchen knife as my main weapon and keep the hammer as a building tool that we'll use later on. We also got a plastic bag, which I'm going to go ahead and equip and make sure we have some stuff we can uh, hold on to. I'm going to take the frying pan on the for when my kitchen knife does break. I'm going to attempt to have the kitchen knife be our primary weapon. For a little while, as it is, anyway. We're going to take this bowl as well. Um, and the next thing I'm going to really want to look for... Wow, that's really good. That's a good find. That is rare that you come across this much food this early on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this cooking pot over. I want only one cooking pot on me. Um, but the, the next thing I'm going to really want to look for here is the option or the opportunity to grab a secondary bag. Because this plastic bag, as nice as it is, it's already full. I and mean, we've already packed it up. Um, so I'm kind of being a little bit risky in that I'm going to look around with this uh, on me still. Oh, you know what I want to do too? I want to take this blouse and I want to rip it into bandages. I want to make sure I have some bandages on me immediately. But I'm going to risk it. I'm going to carry this stuff on me. I'm going to try and get to the house next door uh, while I'm mildly over-encumbered and hope that we come across a bag or something or a backpack more, more appropriately. Not another plastic bag, but a backpack. Ooh, I almost took those nails. It's really tempting to grab those nails. Uh, but a backpack of some sort so I can sling a backpack over my back and have that at the ready for me at all times. Um, this door is unlocked, it looks like. I right-clicked on it and it said open door, which is a good way to check if a door is unlocked. And now we can swing in here. Now, we're going to zoom in a little bit as we're indoors and hope that, you know, we don't come across any zombies. But if we do, we'll be able to take care of them. I have an easier time dealing with zombies when I'm zoomed in in a building. All right. So we did get a duffel bag, which is really, really good. We're going to go ahead and start slapping some stuff in that duffel bag. Um, there's a baseball bat, too. So what I'm going to go do is actually I'm going to equip the baseball bat as my primary. I'm going to move the kitchen knife uh, into the backpack over here. Hammer as well. And uh, we are still kind of over-encumbered, unfortunately. Let's put the pot of water away. Let's look for something a little bit more light. Um, I think... I got orange soda, so we're going to take the orange soda, and what we're going to do is drink it down, 
and then go fill this up with some some water. That way we'll have water on us. We won't have to worry about becoming dehydrated. Well, and fill this up now. It's gonna it's gonna hurt us a little bit as far as carrying capacity is concerned. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can get rid of to lighten our load, but the bandages don't weigh anything. Uh, baseball bat is necessary. Fully efficient in two hands. Oh, that's so dangerous. I'm gonna have to keep it in my primary for now. We could put it on two hands to do more damage. That's an option, but I don't want to. I want to carry as much as I can. Once we have the opportunity to maybe call something a safe house, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll look into doing that. Um, for now, you know, what? for now, I'm gonna box up the the bottle of water. Gonna be a little bit risky, but I'm gonna go ahead and box up that water. And I'm not gonna drink anything until I absolutely need something. Is this bat heavier? I never have this problem before. This is the this is the new Steam version, which is why I started this over again. Um, and there's there was an update to it, which was a, a stabilization update, as well as some additional stuff like some new sound effects and some new animations. Um, presumably some other stuff like this two-handed bat thing. Um, and I'm I'm a little over encumbered, which actually worries me a little bit. The fact that I'm over encumbered already worries me because there's nothing I can do really. What's weighing me down? It's got to be the bag. The weight reduction of the bag must be awful. So what I'm going to do is take everything out of this bag. Let's go ahead and, and just take it all out of the bag. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, let's go ahead and try again. Take everything out of this bag. Put it in here. We're going to get rid of this bag. We're going to put everything into the duffel bag because the weight reduction of the duffel bag should help out um, immensely. And uh, once everything's kind of unpacked. Frying pan takes a while to unpack. In fact, we might actually go through some of this stuff and drop what we don't need anymore. Like, we don't need this bowl right now. We can drop that. We can drop the frying pan. Everything else we'll, we'll keep, though. Alright, so we're going to take everything else. Let's fill up this cooking pot with water. Let's fill everything that we can that we have with water. Fill cooking pot. Oh, I zoomed in a little bit accidentally there. Open curtains. Remove curtains. We don't need to remove the curtains. Okay. Uh, let's take canned soup. Well, let's zoom up a little bit here. Let's take all this. Cause it's all in alphabetical order. We could sort by food type, actually. Category food, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, that in there. Egg. Down. We can actually just shift click. I, I actually never do this, and you guys probably yell, like yelling at your monitors when I don't. But you can shift click things. It just it makes it easier. We'll go ahead and un uh, unequip this afterward because there's nothing else in here. And then we'll drop this plastic bag. And for now, we will unequip it and equip the baseball bat in both hands. Bam. We'll, uh, we'll try out the both hand thing until we find a better bag. Oop, I probably shouldn't have beelined it into this house as quickly as I did. But I did. Nothing in here. West Point, man. West Point. Whoa. Alright, so we have a bit of a problem over there. To the point uh, where I'm just not even going to bother. Cross the street. Potentially... Um, and if you, in rain, by the way, if you guys are playing, rain actually makes zombies kind of meander a little bit more often than normal. Um, so, if it does rain, they will start moving around because of the noise of the rain. Alright, let's, let's, yeah, let's head back this way. Let's head back to the back area. And see if we can get into these buildings relatively simply. There's a lot, see, we're in a highly populated zone, that's the problem. Uh, we, I, I'm, I'm, my gut instinct says get out of here, don't bother. And I'm going to follow that. I've played this game long enough where I think I can trust my instincts to keep me safe for the most part. Let's try to get away from this residential area. Maybe something a little bit more on the outskirts. A house that's not so close. Um, look at this place. Holy crap. Um, you know, we might just check this area out. Well, this house out anyway. It stopped raining. That's good. It's a little dry off. When you get wet, you do slow down. You have a chance of getting sick the wetter you end up getting. Right now, we're just damp. So it's just giving us a warning. Damp is like the warning stage of being wet. Next you start slowing down. Okay. That was right in here. That was his house actually. Let's uh let's let's sneak and see what we got. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies. One, two, three, four, five and a crawler. Well I presume that's a crawler. If you see a zombie laying down, I mean it could be dead. They that that is happens quite often. But if you assume it's a crawling zombie, you're gonna keep yourself safe at night that way. Alright, we're gonna zoom in a little bit. All right, and see what we got in here. Kind of take this house out one by one. Slowly stutter step your way through. 
Uh, before we do any looting, let's go upstairs and make sure we're clear. Alright. So far, so good. We have, it looks like some bathroom zombies that I could see magically through the wall. Alright, come on, yep, alright, well, you can stay there, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and charge up a strike. She's stuck on that zombie, presumably. So we could just kind of beat them. Ugh. Both are down. Alright, both are down. Good. Nothing on them. Potentially some stuff in here, though nothing amazing. We'll grab the sheets, though, because we can use them. We could even grab the sleeping tablets, though. I don't think that's incredibly all that useful. Let's grab a couple of things here. Grab Now, you might be asking, Matt, this, why are you grabbing bath towels? You never grab bath towels. The reason I'm grabbing bath towels um, <coughs> is to dry off. Okay. So we just came across a hiking bag and a school backpack, which means we're now going to be equipping this hiking bag as our secondary. And then we'll be equipping the baseball bat and just our primary weapon slot. And we'll be carrying another bag, just for now. Just for now. Alright, let's uh, swing into this room. Whoops. Alright. Whoop. Alright, is uh, up. Oh. Alright, she's right there. Whoop, 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 up. Oh. oh, that was really close. Down he goes. Oh, these new sound effects are great. So, so good. Alright, so we cleared out the house. We have a new bag. Let's loot the house. But let's loot the house safely. So we're going to sneak up here. And since this window has shutters that we can't actually interact with, let's uh, grab a sheet. Uh, we'll just grab one. Just want one. No. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, I accidentally double clicked. Uh, where are the sheets? I think I lost them. They're somewhere on in the mid the, the floor. Uh, okay, well, um, we'll just ignore them then. And we'll just uh, not cover up the windows and just go to the, the kitchen and uh, grab what we can. Alright, a little bit this way, a little bit that way. And we'll check out what we can grab. Not bad, a little bit. Like, you have to understand that the amount of food that I found earlier was really, really lucky. Um, you never find that much food, or very rarely do you find that much food in a, in a refrigerator, so... And if you think loot is too rare, play sandbox mode and reduce the, how often loot comes up. Though it's instinctively on rare, you can make it very rare. We're going to need a can opener at some point. Alright, so we have hammer. I would love to find an axe sometime in the near future. We're going to go ahead and leave the house. Um, because I would love to start constructing pretty much as soon as possible. Um, really, as soon as possible, once I have a place I'd like to call my safe house. Wait, why are we so over-encumbered? Man, the, the bags are actually much... Oh, the sheets... Oh, the sheets are... Ow! Oh, that's where the sheets went. I unpacked them. Like a moron. Um, either way, we are pretty heavily over-encumbered. Really badly. Um, this water weighs, I think, 0.8, so that won't even, that won't even undo it. Alright, so we have to be a lot more careful about how much we're carrying now. It's not like it used to be. Which is good. It makes the game a little bit harder. Even though I sucked at the game initially anyway. Um, making the game harder is not a bad thing. And we're also going to want to think about place we're going to spend the night. So I'm thinking this small little house right here will be fine. We could even do this big house here. But small house is easier to um, clear out if it needs clearing. And um, we can ensure safety much, much quicker. So we're going to go ahead and try and pry this bedroom window open. We have to cross our fingers that we don't get an alarm either. If there is an alarm, we could be in a lot of trouble. As soon as he pops that window open, we'll be good to go. Oh, he gave up. He might he exhausted himself, so I think he kind of gave up. We'll eat a banana. Try again. Alright. Come on, buddy. You're tired, I know. Just keep on prying that window until you bust it open. I refuse to smash the window open. It's just a terrible idea in general. So it's going to let him pry it. This is something you could do, by the way, if you have the time and you're not too afraid for your own safety. You can just try prying the window open over and over and over again, because he will eventually get it. I mean, it seems like he's not going to get it anytime soon, but he will eventually get it. And when you when you do get it, it's a miracle. Especially when he's this one. This one in particular is incredibly, incredibly hard. Okay, so this window's open. See, so that's a little thing you can do to kind of cheat a little bit, is you can right-click an object that says open that object. You can open it. But don't have to worry about it. He did finally pry open the window. All right, let's... uh. We're going to zoom in a little bit here. Let's uh, let's check the house. 
and make sure we're safe. Alright, so far so good. Okay. And no shower zombies. Alright, so we're clear. We're clear for a good night's sleep. What we're going to go ahead and do, just to ensure we've already got a... Let's, uh... Whoop. Whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Alright. Uh, I can't open door. Oh, no. That's not what I want. Okay, closed curtains. That's what I wanted. There we go. Alright. Let's actually check in here real quick. School bag. Either way. Alright. So what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, fast forward till about 8 o'clock. We're going to get our character in bed. And we're going to call that, I'd say, episode 1 of uh, Project Zomboid. Episode 1. It's good to say episode 1 again. It's, yeah, I haven't said that in such a long time. Episode 1 of Project Zombies is going to have a new thumbnail. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're excited that the Steam release is out there. If you enjoy watching this, make sure you hit a like and drop a comment below letting me know what you like or dislike about the game. All comments are, of course, welcome. And make sure you hit subscribe to join the horde and keep up with my daily videos. And as always, I'll see you all next time.